so you have to, in order like you have to create a positive mindset a positive attitude you have to con consistently repeat and if you're not doing it mentally at first start verbally you know you are good you do have value people do like you and you can always pull up a million reasons why people don't because they might somebody might feed you one little one little piece and in your head you come up with a thousand more that support that idea you know people are wrong people are wrong all the time my parents are wrong my mom is wrong it, 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 people get old older and their ideas haven't changed or they haven't refreshed them or they haven't revisited them to reassess or, or reevaluate them and every time you you look at something again you come back and you reanalyze it again when you revalue it your perspective on it actually changes and a funny thing about memories and even things like when we're older or younger that happen is that every time actually physically in our brain when we visit the memory we literally make new connections that weren't there we actually literally physically alter the memory so after 10 years ha there's no real true way to that you can actually prove it is how it is how you thought of it and at the same time if you experienced it that that memory when you were angry at the time your perception of it can be 180 degrees off because you were stuck in the emotion of anger when you experienced it so your perception your objective re your objective experience of it might not even be very accurate you know if you were to able to go back in time and look watch a video literally a recorded video of it it doesn't look how it felt <laughs> that's the best way and like these type of ideas like if you can if you can even grasp 10% of what I'm telling you right now through this you are already miles ahead okay I'm 29 and I I'm not a credible source but I've had a rough life you know and the only thing that that can afford you a better life or can impact your life is your attitude about yourself and all of that stems in my opinion from self-talk and that's actually how you make a strong person I've never I never used to be fit I never was athletic I never I broke my spine for God's sake when I was 19 it gave me all kinds of numbness in my feet and hands and loss of feeling and sensitivity you know and like it sucks and I didn't let that eat me the doctors wanted to cut me open and I talked to my grandma who was a trauma nurse and she she got spinal surgery and it messed her up more than before and so I I don't have 30 grand to pay for and this is at that time I don't have 30 grand to pay for physical therapy so I just had to get a bodybuilding anatomy book and go to the gym with a book and educate you know never let your schooling get in the way of your education because schooling is a place where you go and you memorize things that's school education is you watching this video provoking thoughts in your mind right now this is that plants seeds of ideas okay and that's how you make a strong person you you, you just you just start and you just consistently every time every time you know the thermostat every time it senses that it's off a little bit it readjusts to the long-term goal it readjusts and you might not even know what those are you might I have some long-term goals that are just to be a high performer you know if your long-term goals is watching this to be a strong person then just that's your long-term goal a strong person has long-term goals they'll flourish into all that you just got to give it time right now just make it being a strong person through all this right now currently there's the whole you know cerveza sickness craziness going on you know call it what you want to call it but I think a lot of it has to do with money you know I'm not an economics 
master's degree, but just naturally I've been studying economics for 10 years. I can tell you how they make money. I can tell you what happens when the Fed prints money. I can tell you what happens when the Treasury decides to print the money. You know, I, I'm just naturally drawn to those things. And the things that we're drawn to, those are the things that do make us that strong person. And I'll leave you with that. Hope you've got tokens. Peace.